Hey guys, what's going on? It's JK here, and welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory. Guys, no um, actual gameplay in this video, because I just played a bit of co-op with a friend. We didn't actually do too well, we lost, but but we were only playing friendlies. But yeah, here you can see what we got from Rivals. As I said, we are taking coins, and maybe it was a better option to go for the packs, because we could have packed something, but it doesn't matter. But yeah, now we have to sell Sissoko. He was bad, and then he eventually got better, but I wasn't too heartbroken to get rid of him. Bought him for 30k. Sold him for 29 and a half. Well, selling him, listing him for 29 and a half. And he eventually does sell. As you will see in a moment's time. But yeah, each of these pictures is 20 seconds long. So I've got to, like, kind of talk about stuff. We um, list Rio Hernandez. He's played quite a few games. Very good defender. I'm only getting rid of him because he doesn't really fit the team anymore. He could do if I were to not change it. But, you know, I eventually changed the whole team, basically. Other than two players. Um... So, yeah, Theo Hernandez doesn't actually sell for that price. But, yeah, Sissoko sells for 29.5 Um, because he had a shadow on him. I decided instead of listing him for, like, 29, 28K, which is what he was worth, I decided I'd list him for 29. And he eventually does sell quick, pretty quickly as well just because people don't want to spend 3K on a shadow. Um, I didn't add on 3K. Maybe I should have gone to 30K. But there were ones up there for that. I bought Vergwan for 20K. He was going for 12K. But because I had a Ken start on him, I was hoping to get 13 out of him. And I was hoping after rewards, um, the player crap, the market crash has been crazy, guys. Like, I was literally looking at a Lorente this morning, um, just, ap just after, no, yesterday, 9k. This Today, I end up buying him for like, what, 8k, 7k, 6k, if that. And it's crazy, and I even get him with an engine. But yeah, as you can see, Bergwijn and also Bernadeschi sell. And my idea was to go with Rabio as my other player in the squad. I don't actually go for that. I instead decide to change my whole defence. So, yeah. Um, I also decide to do something clever as well with my defence. Oh, no. That isn't good. Um, random clip, guys. But what that is, is basically Theo Hernandez selling for, like, 20k. And I ended up buying... I bought him for 25. But he just sells for 20k in the end. I'm sorry that that was just a random screenshot that came up, guys. I'm sorry. But yeah, now into some footage. And basically, we go into squad building challenges, and we've already got Ansu Fati done. I did have like an extra 10 minutes of footage with me buying the players and stuff, but it, I, I've just cut it down to 5 minutes. So, very decent. This is what we submit. So, we submit Onana, Navas, 15k and 3k. Tadic for 1k. And then we get rid of Roe Magnoli. He's been a legend for the club. Thank you, mate. Donnarumma, who was untradeable. Gay. Screeny R. Di Maria, Verratti, uh, Busquets. And, no, Busquets, Handanovic, and Icardi. The only player I'm really upset to lose, the only players I'm upset to lose are Ray Magnoli and Donnarumma, but for Fatty, it's worth it. But, yeah, Donnarumma, he was a great keeper, but we're going to replace him with Schmeichel, and then also we're going to get rid of Ray Magnoli because he was a bit of a meme. He scored some goals for me against my mate, and he, he was a really good player, but unfortunately, um, you know, it, the memes kind of wore off, and now the hype around him's gone, and he's, he's too slow. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Romag. Um, great player for the club. Hopefully, I'll see you again once you get a special card. If he gets like a team of the season, he'll have like what ninety, no, eighty something pace. I might pick him up. But yeah, this Ansu Fati card looks amazing. And as you can see, we are now about to build our brand new squad. So we obviously have to sell Manolas and Quadrado. Again, two players that have been great for the club. But first, the pack. Can we get something good? I don't know how to deliver it's board. Is it a walkout though? No, not a walkout. Is it a board? No. No, unfortunately. It's only Kragno. But yeah, we we have we quick sold everything from this pack eventually to get more coins. Uh sorry about that. But yeah. We eventually just quick sold everything because it wasn't worth anything. So yeah, and we just quick sold a load of other random stuff. I feel like I've only got Hulk on my transfer list now. I don't know if if he if he's even worth worth anything. But yeah, um, we do need to sell Manolas and Quadrado. They have been great servants to the club. But unfortunately, we do have to get rid of them. And we do have to take out Tonali, who's been a great CDM. So yeah, Fatty to Glory. We're not actually going to do our Fatty to Glory, guys. Don't worry, I just named the squad that as something. But yeah, we have to get rid of Donnarumma and Romag. I'm sorry, guys. We've been great players. But you're going to have to go. And now we also have to get rid of Manolas and um, Quadrado. They were also great players for the club. 
uh, real credit, but, you know, it's time to replace and move on, I guess, and we, as you can tell, you know, have to get Ake back into the team. But, yeah, when we completed the first squad for Ziyech, well, first squad for Fatty, I put in Hakim Ziyech, stupidly, when I could have just bought someone. Now, Ziyech actually fits into my new team, but obviously, he's gone, so I can't, but, yeah. So we go get Regulon, and what we're going to do is we're going to swap um, the left-back that we eventually go by, Yuri Bichiche, and Regulon around in-game, but Regulon does need, like, a shadow or something. And Yuri Bichiche just needs, like, a sentinel or an anchor or something. Because that means we now have a really quick defence. We also go get Mateo Kovacic next to him. He doesn't have great shooting or defending, but just give him an anchor, and he'll be great. At right-back, we go get better in. Um, in terms of improvements for this squad, I eventually want to improve Kovacic, I want to improve Bellerin, and I want to improve my keeper, and then maybe the regular situation, because situation, I could just go with a Premier League centre-back that strong links. So I could go with like a Davinson Sanchez. But yeah, with the other squad guys, there weren't many more places I could go because it was Sarriat out, and all the other decent options were like 80k, and that wouldn't have been realistic. I would have been able to play buy like one player every two weeks or something. But yeah... While I'm doing this, guys, I'd just like to say I don't know if I'm going to bother that much with rivals this year because it's just 30 games makes it so sweaty. I will play, like, every weekend. Um, I play FIFA, like, Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday. No, Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. Sunday will be... Sometimes, guys, though, I will do a double weekend if there's, like, objectives or foot champs or something. Uh, but the chances are I'm honestly just going to... Um, back out a bit, I guess. But yeah, Manolas, who I bought, who I was sniping for like 20 minutes, I ended up getting for 16k. I sell him for 5.6k, and that really hurts. It, it just makes me want to cry. And then we end up selling Quadrado. We bought him for like 14. He's he's only gone down. He went down to 10 this morning, and then I end up selling him for 11. But it's really heartbreaking to me that... Manolas and Quadrado, two absolutely brilliant defenders, go for fuck all. I'm sorry for swearing, but they go for shit. They literally go for nothing. Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Another defender that I've learned is actually really good is Tamori, and apparently he's probably better than Ake, which is weird. But yeah, in terms of the cam stars, we still need to buy for the team, guys. I know that we still need to buy an anchor. I don't know. We need to buy, I think it's two anchors... Um, an anchor for Bellerin and an anchor for regular. And we don't need to buy a shadow for my man Ake. And that's it. We just need to buy two anchors and a shadow. So, yeah. Um, we're not going to be playing so much squad battles this year. Unless there's a squad battles heavy objective. Then we will. Um, but I don't think they're going to release anything tomorrow, guys. Like They've released a Vidra objective here. He's not that great, so I ain't gone and got him. But, yeah. 5.86k. For Manolas, like, oh man, it's ridiculous how cheap he is, and Quadrado sells instantly. But that is just so depressing. But yeah, guys, we are about to take a jump to when the squad is finally done. So I'm really excited to show you guys the finished product. So yeah, let's go. And there it is, the finished squad. So yeah, Schmeichel we got for 3.2k, he looks very good. Just need to, I put a wall on him. Um, Yeah, as you can see, I put a wall on him. Uh, Bellerin, I think we go to next. He is also a very decent card. I think he needs an anchor to get up that strength and defending. But at the minute, a guardian's all right for him. And also, we need to get up the pace. But Ake, okay, he needs a shadow. Um, Regulon needs an anchor. Um, I get him for 4.3k. I sold him for 6k on Monday from Squad Battles Rewards. Um, we get Yuri Bichiche, who can play at centre back because he's just really good. He's got 83 plays, but then. He's also got 83 physical, 80 defending. So with the Sentinel, he becomes a defensive beast. And I can play him at centre-back. So, yeah. And last year, I had Kimpembe Asar as two left-footed centre-backs. I've got two left-footed meta centre-backs this year. But, yeah. LaSalle, so we end up just giving a Hunter to. Because that's what... Um, I think it was... I think, I can't remember his name. But he's on he's on Instagram. And he posts up a load of stuff about her meta players. I think it was Foot Crunch or something. And, yeah. He suggested give um, LaSalle to a Hawker or a Hunter. And they'll be really good. I already had La Celso in my team, but then when I saw it was recommended that he needed a Hawk or a Hunter, I knew I had a Hunter and I couldn't be bothered to sell it. So what i just done is I've put it on the Celso. But in terms of upgrades, as I said, I want to come improve Kovacic to a more defensive player. 
Um, I do actually want to put Kovacic as my CDM. Like, this is my in-game tactic, guys. But, yeah, um, we eventually played two games with this team. We lost them both, but we had a lot of fun. And I'd like to say thank you guys for watching this episode. It's been great to have you here today. I hope you I hope you tune in for the next episode, which should be on Sunday. And basically what Sunday's episode will be is it'll basically be me finishing a few games and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next time.